Born on the 11th of November 1938 in Taita Taveta, Fadili William was more than a one-hit wonder. He was a journeyman musician whose career spanned nearly half a century with some 200 compositions to his name. He'd be described as Saudi soul for back in the day. His musical story began in primary school when he joined the school choir and his musical gifting was undeniably apparent. At the age of 15, he received his first guitar gifted to him by his mother. He learned how to play the guitar by watching other musicians perform, as finding a teacher at the time proved challenging. During this period, he developed a good ear for music. His songs and his arrangements are a delightful and diverse melange, comprising robust jazzy chords, American country music, Afro-Cuban rumbas, and South African quella. He passed away on the 11th of February, 2001 at the age of 62, leaving behind a lasting imprint on Kenya's musical scene. And here is his song, Malaika. Malaika Nakupenda Malaika Malaika Nakupenda Malaika Nami ni fanyeje Kijo na mwenzio Nashindo na mali sina we Ninge kuwa malaika Nashindo na mali sina we Ninge kuwa malaika Kidege Ukuwaza we kidege Kidege Ukuwaza we kidege Ninge kuwa dada Ninge kuwa dada Nashindwa na malisi na we Ninge kuwa malaika Nashindwa na malisi na we Ninge kuwa malaika Pesa za sumbu wa roho yangu Pesa, pesa, pesa za sumbu wa roho yangu Ninge kuwa dada Ninge kuwa dada Nashindo na mali sina we Ninge kuwa malaika Nashindo na mali sina we Ninge kuwa malaika Malaika Nakupenda Malaika Malaika Nakupenda Malaika 
na mini fanye je ki jana mwenzio na shindwa na mali sina we ninge kuwa malaika na shindwa na mali sina we ninge kuwa malaika Nakupenda malaika lakini nimesota malaika Sina ganji malaika Nakupenda malaika Nakupenda malaika Nakupenda malaika na kupenda malaika and here is his song taxi driver Taxi driver, ni kombole shegari Wende na kuru, ni kamone ana Alinandiki, ya nifike juma mosi Na misitaki, kumfunja promisi Taxi driver, ni kombole shegari Wende na kuru, ni kamone ana Alinandiki Anifike juma mosi Na misitaki Kufunja promisi Tuliondo kama yule dereva Tulipofika Kule naivasha Gari letu Lilipata panchari Ika walazima
Monte Cavaliers was a band that was started in 1968 and was led by the singer Joseph Omari. The group's original lineup had eight members and they were particularly known for their skill in performing both rumba and American-inspired soul music. One of the resident bands of the famous Starlight Club, they were deemed to have the best brass and rhythm section in Nairobi. In 1978, the Cavaliers were said to be the first band in Kenya to record an album in stereo with the release of their musical work, Dunia Ina Mambo. Influenced by several factors, the band's epoch came to an end in the early 1980s. Their music, however, mightily lives on. And this is their song, Dunia Ina Mambo. Baba na mama walini usia ewe kijana Kuwa mwana nguji yone dunia ina mambo Yao siku ya sikiza, sasa mimi na juta Kweli na jionea, dunia ina mambo Wali na bia kijana jiadari na wali mwengu Hao wali mwengu siya wazuri kwa kwa kijana Yao siku ya sikiza, sasa mimi na juta Kweli na jionea Dunia ina mambo, dunia ina mambo, oh, dunia ina mambo, dunia ina mambo, oh, dunia ina mambo, dunia ina mambo, oh, dunia ina mambo, dunia ina mambo. Watakusifuo, wewe kijana mzuri Ukiwa una, wengi watakukimbia Na wengi husema, wewe kijana mbaya Ukiwa na choleo, marafiki ni wengi sana Watakusifuo, wewe kijana mzuri Ukiwa una, wengi watakukimbia na wao usema wewe kijana mbaya dunia ina mambo oh, dunia ina mambo dunia ina mambo oh, dunia ina mambo dunia ina mambo oh, dunia ina mambo dunia ina mambo Mkabi, known as the creator of Omutibu, was born in Kisa, Western Kenya in the 1930s. The third born child out of six siblings, Mukabi was enrolled for primary education in 1944, but dropped out in class four as it became apparent that his first love was music. He was a self-taught musician who created his own guitar from a murembe tree. Drawing immense inspiration from musicians like John Mwale, Isaiah Mwinamo, and Tom Witi, Mukabi honed and crafted his musical skills and soon became popular in the 1950s. It is said that children would often sneak out from home or school to go and hear him play. And the pull that Mukabi's music had on the youth disturbed the area chief who was known to have said in Luya, this music thing is misleading. It was due to these words that music from this region of Kenya is known as Omutibu. 
When Mukabi moved to Nairobi, he became an immensely popular feature in the city's music scene. He recorded his songs with the help of his good friends, Malenia and John Moale. Mukabi was a disciplined and dedicated musician who practiced constantly, and his hard work was evidently displayed in his songs, Mutoto Singuo, which was recorded in 1957 and is considered to be a Kenyan classic. And here is Mukabi's song, Mutoto Singuo. Okay. Singuo, utambam tu. Singuo, utambam tu. Mtoto singuo, utambam tu. Mtoto singuo, utambam tu mama. Singuo, utambam tu. Singuo, utambam tu. Mtoto singuo, utamba mtu Mtoto singuo, utamba mtu baba Kupata mtoto ni majaliwa Kupata mtoto ni majaliwa Ukikosa wako e, usilie sana Ukikosa wako e, usilie sana baba Watoto wengi ni mayatima Watoto wengi hawana makwao Chukua moja we Umpe malezi Umpe mapenzi Kama mzazi we mama Umasikini ziyo hatia Watoto wako ni baraka pia Usitupe wako e, ni hati ya kukwa Usitupe wako e, atali ya sana mama of August 1924 in Wa near Mombasa. His early education was conducted at a Catholic school and it was here that he learned to play the flute, the clarinet, as well as read music. He practically applied his musical knowledge by playing Western popular tunes to accompany dances such as the Foxtrot and the Waltz. After finishing school, he continued to play and create music fusing various genres like the blues, calypso, and Cuban son with Kiswahili lyrics and coastal Zengania rhythms. He was highly sought after at weddings and other social gatherings. In 1944, during the Second World War, he was enlisted as part of the King's Africa Rifles Entertainment Unit. Posted and based in India, Conde, together with the unit, were able to record a dozen songs. 
After World War II, he returned back home, carrying with him the first electric pickup guitar he heard or seen in East Africa. In the 1950s, during the emergency period, he not only toured East and Central Africa with his group, he also recorded some hits, namely Olivia Le Leo, Jambo Sigara, Kipenzi Waniwa, and Tausi Nege Wangu. A veteran in the complete fullness of the word, Fundi Konde's career as a recording artist, sound engineer, and producer spanned 50 years. His immense contribution to growing and establishing the Kenyan music industry should not be forgotten. He passed away on the 29th of June 2000, but his music and memory lives on. And here is his song, Olivia Leo. his song Ajali Hiking Giki. Sanja wa 
Masika Kabaka was born in 1939 near Kampala. Due to his upbringing as the son of a Kenyan employee that worked at the then East African Railways and Harbors, Kabaka was exposed to various forms of music. His earliest memory was tied to the guitar sound of Congolese greats Mwenda Jean Bosco and Losta Abello. Kabaka received his first guitar at the age of 14. He started working at the Equator Sound Studio in 1959 and soon became a member of the label's band, working with Fadili William, Nashil Pichin, Peter Tsotsi, and Charles Sonko. Kabaka's music undoubtedly matched the solidification of the Kenyan nation in the 1960s with the release of two golden and timeless hits, namely Harambe Harambe, Helule Helule, and Western Shido. And here is his song, Paul and Musa.
tafadhali Musa Tafuta bibi atakayeweza Kuvumilia hizo tabia zako Ukinywa pombe wa mnye ya yeye Ukivuta bangi wa mvuti ya yeye Pole 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 Kweli Musa uliponi Sura yangu haikuwa nala mahata moja Nilikuwa na afya nzuri Nilinona kama ngoi mayakirike Pole Musa John Senze was born to a musical family in Nairobi's Eastlands in 1940. He picked up his extraordinary guitar skills from his father. His first song, Angelica Twist, which became a huge hit, was recorded at African Gramophone Service. Frequently collaborating with his cousin Daudi Kabaka, Zenze went on to record successive hits like Amina and Veronica. Between the 1960s and 70s, Zenze put together a band known as Air Fiesta Matata or Matata. The members of this band include Steel Buta, Jack Kalonga, Anwar Richard, Joseph Yamakenken on the bass, and with John Kagenda and Gabriel Wamala on the drums. Due to the rich multicultural background of this group, their music resonated widely across the board and they were immensely popular during the 70s. Zenze and Air Fiesta Matata were known for their incorporation of various genres of music such as South African Kwela, funk and rock. They became one of the first musicians to go on an international tour, performing in Algeria at the first Pan-African Cultural Festival, PANAF, in 1969 and in other countries like Ethiopia, England, Germany, Switzerland, France and Norway. In addition to this, Zenze also played with the jazz musician Miles Davis. Zenze was known for his brilliant musical innovation, his quick wit, humor and sophistication. Those that watched him perform described it as magic, joy and beauty and art inseparable. And here is his song, Angelique. Come 
mapenzi yetu ya kwanza tulipokuwa tukicheza twisti Iconic Kashalangu song, Abd Al Rahim was born in Takaungu, Kakilifi County in 1920. He was a son to a Hadrami father and a Swahili mother. This East African song was inspired by a poem by the renowned 19th century poet Bakari Wamwengo, which also was about Akasha, which means box in Portuguese. The singer typically associated with the song Kashalangu was Athmani Kajungu. The song became his trademark, so much so that he became known as Athmani Kasha. This song became immensely popular first due to Mombasa's broadcasting station, Sauti Yang Vita, then in Zanzibar, and then later still in Maskat, Oman, where it seems the Swahili way of life now flourishes. And here is Kasha Langu. Okay. Kashalangu la zamani ye, kashali silo tumbu. Kashalangu la zamani ye, kashali silo tumbu. Lita sandani kwandani ye, na ufungu oni hu. Alufungu anani ye. Kasha mundo wa kale, si mundo wa kisasa. Kasha mundo wa kale, si mundo wa kisasa. Ni kazi ya watu wale, si bani ya ni mombasa. Usifanye makelele Melipa mengi mapesa
Habel Kifoto. Born on the 28th of February 1948 in Taita Taveta district, Kifoto was enlisted into the Kenyan army in 1970. Having learned to play the guitar, keyboard and saxophone during his high school years in Nairobi, he naturally became a part of the army's band which was then known as the Strollers. Toward the end of the 1970s, the band was formally named Maroon Commandos. The band signed to Polydor Kenya in 1971 and under the label produced the song Emily. During the 1970s and 80s, the Maroon Commandos was modeled after Congolese bands that comprised a large lineup of musicians orbiting around a charismatic leader. The band suffered a de devastating blow in 1972 when a road accident claimed the lives of several band members. Maroon Commanders went through a recuperating lull but came back with a bang with the release of the song Charonyi Niwasi, Life is Tough. Written by Kifoto in his mother tongue, Taita, the song remains one of Kenya's biggest sellers of all time. The message of the song was urgently directed towards reminding city people not to forget the beauty of their traditional roots and upbringing. And here is the Maroon Commander song, Sitaki. Oh 
Acheni baki na wasi wasi Mpenzi sikia roho yangu Na umia sana juu yako Sitaki, sitaki Sitaki, sitaki Tukipata na wewe usema kuna haraka Yanini kunitesa bila sababu Fikiria kwa makini ninayo sema mama Usiniweke kwa hali mpeziwe Eti 